Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 11th of 2020, well, it is titled Behind Betelgeuse. So what do we see here? Well, this is the bright star Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in the constellation of Orion and one of the brightest stars in the night sky. It's a distinctly red star, very cool, about half the temperature of our own sun. So what might be behind Betelgeuse? Well, one thing that is behind Betelgeuse is the rest of the constellation of Orion. When you look at Orion, you see all of the stars there making up the pattern, showing the hunter as it moves across the sky. However, the, all those stars are not at the same distance. Most of the bright stars are part of the Orion star forming region and are all about uh, 4, 1300 light years away. However, Betelgeuse is much closer, only about half that distance, about 700 light years away. So Betelgeuse is actually in front of the rest of the constellation of Orion, and the other stars are well behind it. So that's one of the things that's behind Betelgeuse. And also in this image, we see that there are lots of other stars. And in fact, there are some stars that are close enough to being directly behind Betelgeuse that we can know nothing about them. So objects very close to Betelgeuse in the sky, as you can see a number of stars there that are quite close to it, are overwhelmed by its light. And if one is close enough to being in a direct line, and as you can guess from looking at this image, there are going to be many stars that are right behind, almost right behind Betelgeuse that we know nothing at all about. Now, Betelgeuse itself will look like a point of light through almost any telescope. Only the very largest telescopes can see it as a small disk. And that is uh, because the stars are so far away. Every one of them looks like a uh, point of light. And in fact, Betelgeuse is one of the few that is close enough to us and large enough to actually be resolved and to be seen as a small disk of light through very powerful telescopes. Most of the stars that we see, and in fact, almost every other star is only a point of light, even through the most powerful telescopes that we have. Now, one of the other things that we see here in this image are thousands of other stars that are part of our Milky Way. So these are all stars that are part of our Milky Way in just this very small region around the star Betelgeuse. We can also see a couple of other things, including some dark dust clouds down towards the lower left of Betelgeuse and some red hydrogen emission up towards the top of the image both part of the Orion star forming region and other things that would actually be well beyond the star itself, hundreds of light years past it, if we could look at this in a three-dimensional view instead of just as a flat image. So many, many things are behind Betelgeuse since it is one of the closer stars, a relatively close star, one of the closer really bright stars to us. So that was our picture of the day for May the 11th of 2020. It was titled Behind Betelgeuse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Little Harp Meteors. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.